Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be doing a get ready with me. You guys seem to really like these, so we are just going to catch up, talk about life. So if you're new here, hello, my name is Anna. Um, I'm uploading four to five videos a week right now, and let's go ahead and get started. Swimming up just a little, don't be alarmed. I... <laughs> I hit my head on the not Alex 9 drawers I have, so I hit my head on the corner of them when I was bending down to pick up a piece of garbage that I threw in the trash can and missed. Yeah, we were going to film this a couple hours earlier, but my head was hurting, and I'm like, I just have to like sit down and like relax. <laughs> yeah, that is my life. So everything that I'm using is listed and linked down below. Um, I do have affiliate links on these items. You don't have to use them. It just really helps my channel out when you do, of course. So I'm using the Smashbox Photo Finish Smooth and Blur Primer, which is like their, you know, original. So very silicone based type of product and so on. So um, I wanted to do a get ready with me because the one that I uploaded last week, um, it went over really well. well. I felt like I wanted to do like another kind of chatty get ready with me. We're gonna go into the Essence Keep Me Covered Long Lasting Foundation. This is a little bit light on my skin, but we'll manage with some bronzer and whatnot. So, you know, it's Sunday. We're filming a couple videos today and I just kind of want to have like a lazy Sunday. So I woke up, I cleaned the house. I had a great time, you know? So I am not really doing much the rest of the day. I'm gonna color out of my Johanna Bassford book, which I love doing. Other than that, I'm not really doing much this week, which I kind of like those weeks when I don't really have anything planned. I have been noticing though, let me know, like, so I'm 25, my birthday is next month, I'm turning 26, which I want to think about. <laughs> um, I don't know. It's just like, that's so old. <laughs> I don't know. I've always pictured myself at like 19, so it's hard to like picture myself like getting near 30 but I have noticed especially lately like the past couple months I would say I will come home from work right and I will feel so tired that I just want to like lay down for a couple hours like play on my iPad whatever and then by the time I'm like okay, like I'm, I'm ready to like actually do something around the house. Maybe that's like make dinner, that's um, taking the dogs out, whatever it may be, whatever. It's like, oh geez, I might as well go to bed in like an hour. So I, I'm really struggling with that lately. So if you've ever experienced that, let me know um, because it low-key kind of sucks. And I really try to set myself up, you know, throughout the week, like, you know, when I know I'm going to be going to work earlier, for example, I go to bed earlier or I will set up my, um, you know, stuff to get ready in the morning. Like I'll have my outfit picked the night before. Um, I will have everything kind of set up so that when I wake up, I don't really have to, you know, scramble in the morning. Like everything is already set up. So I do that, but then like I get home and it's like, wow, like I'm just like ex mentally drained from the day if you've experienced this or whatever like how can i like fight that because like it's not that i want to like you know go run 10 miles at night like i'm it's like i want to like be able to like have the energy to like you know put on my comfy clothes and like color or upload a video or walk my dogs and i feel like a lot of times i get home and i'm just so tired I don't know. I, I've noticed as I've gotten older, um, it might be, I've look, I've really looked into this. It might be a sign of like depression. You know, it's a side effect of it, which I have been very open about here. Not that I do have. I sleep a lot. I sleep way more than the average person. And I almost feel like I need a nap every day to like function. And I've talked to my doctor about this. I've been tested for like hyperthyroidism. You know, I've been tested for a lot of things and it, it always comes back normal. Let me know Ooh, what's going on. So I just used the Anastasia Magic Touch Concealer. We're gonna go into the Tarte Sculpt Tape Contour. And you all know, um, I'm still kind of working with like the cream liquid type of products. So I'm not the expert right now, but we're getting there. So I'm gonna put a little bit, I'm gonna try not to be able to use any powder bronzer. 
I'm just gonna try and use this but like I I'm still like kind of getting the hang of like liquid products like this we'll see how this goes I'm just kind of blending this in we're gonna I never want to use like too much you know but I feel like sometimes I just use too little. That's really cute. So at the end of next month, at the end of July, I'm taking some time off of work um, to for like my birthday, Logan's birthday, our anniversary. It's just going to be like a grand old time, right? And I'm so excited. So there are going to be some things that we're doing. Um, we're kind of having like a staycation. So like we're going to like go out to dinner one night for our anniversary. Um... We're going to, Logan's gonna take me to a Bath and Body Works outlet. <laughs> Might go to like this area with like a very large mall. <laughs> and I, I don't know, it's just, I'm really excited. And yeah, so that's what we're doing. But uh, you know, it's gonna be a lot of like me staying home. I think I'm going to organize like my closet. I'm going to take time to, I don't know, I guess. I, I'm just gonna take time to like organize my house a little bit. And that kind of leads me into like my next topic here. I really would like a cute way to store or like organize my Bath and Body Works products and almost like put them on display. So like, I don't wanna have like, you know, them sit in a drawer. Oh, I was gonna do blush, shoot. We're gonna use the e.l.f. Halo Glow Beauty Wand Blush in this shade Rose You Slay which is like the only shade that works for me. That was way too much, by the way. So, oh my God. I'm going to regret this so And I already have so much excess product on here. I have to wipe this off. Oh my God. What did I even like set myself up for? Doing that and I'm like already counting down to it. I'm so excited um, because it's like vacation time. Like I'm taking time off of work. I'm gonna have the best time. I'm not gonna worry about anything. And yeah, so very excited. But anyways, Bath and Body Works. So I wanna have this like, so I put way too much blush on by the way. Oh my goodness. I wanna have like, somewhere where in my beauty room i want to reorganize my beauty room and like maybe like rearrange my beauty room but i'm not exactly sure like you know what i want to do um I, I want to rearrange some things in here i also would love to put my bath and body works on display a little more especially like my body creams because like they're they're cute like they they are pretty like i want to like be able to like see them and use them and yeah so if you have any suggestions for that that like don't cost an arm and a leg because like i'm like basically on a no buy right now and i don't want to be spending that kind of money right now yeah so if you have any like cheap suggestions or anything let me know um but i'm going to use the new elf squeeze me lip balm i got the flavor strawberry I really wanted to get peach, but it was sold out online. And then I went into Ulta the other day and they didn't even have the display for peach. This is nice. It's not, it's like different from Laneige. People are saying like, oh, this is a dupe. I would not say that this is a dupe. I don't know, it's a little thicker. So we're gonna go into the Rare Beauty Highlight in the shade Enlighten, you all know. If you know, you know. I just put on way too much highlight too. <laughs> I guess we're like way overdoing it today, but. It's all good. This highlighter is amazing. I have found so many good things at the semi-annual sale. You all saw my haul last week. I'm pretty much done shopping it. Um, you know, I, I am done shopping it, I would say. I'm gonna be on a no-buy. That's just like, I, I've just decided, like, I am done spending fun money in the month of June. I wanna save my money. I wanna save it for like a shopping trip at like over break. So that's what I am doing right now. I love the feedback that I got where everyone was like, oh my gosh, I love that you're on a low buy. Like I'm on it too because everything is just so expensive right now. And ugh, man, like <laughs> it sucks because like there's so many new releases out and I am gonna be getting some new stuff, you know, but like not right away. I just wanna focus also on what I have and just have fun with that kind of stuff. I was here and we're gonna use my Morphe Sculpt, um, Supreme Brow Sculpting and Shaping Wax. So that's like, 
where I'm at. Plus, like, I feel like beauty has gotten so expensive. Like, when are Anastasia palettes $55? They used to be, like, $40. Like, it, it's just, like, it's that kind of stuff where it's, like, oh, my gosh. Like, the price of everything has gone up. I'm not a fan. And so on. So, I'm just going to set my face really quick. This is the Tarte Stay Spray. So, kind of speaking about Anastasia, I don't think I'm going to be getting the Cosmos palette. You know, I'm just like, I was, I was like, oh, I'm going to get it. Oh, I'm not going to get it. And honestly, I'm not going to get it. It's first off, it's $55. I have these colors already. And I just thought like in between Juvia's Place and Anastasia, I just love the color appeal of Juvia's Place more. So I'm going to enjoy what I have right now, which is why we're pulling out the Anastasia Rose Metals palette. This is gorgeous more of a fall palette but hey i'm here for it so there we go i want to do some warmer tones on my eyes so i'm going to start out with the shade rose quartz i've also been making a really conscious effort lately to not clean my brushes i don't know what's gone over me but i need to do that like that on my eye i love anastasia's eyeshadow formulas especially in like the nouveau rose metals like i feel like her formula has just gotten so good like even in the norvina palettes the original norvina palette and the purple riviera i really liked like there's a lot of just really good palettes by her but man i just like i cannot justify it right now the only downfall is that there's a ton of fallout on these <laughs> shades um so i'm gonna go into the shade sun rose right here a little fallout is all that's you know going on i think that is a very minor problem to have with eyeshadows so there we go i'm just gonna pop that on the outer corner outer half of my eye warming everything up a little bit on the lower lash line i'm gonna take that same sun rose shade and again just, just popping that on my lower lash line here gosh this is like a little swollen too it didn't like bleed too badly but like hurts <laughs> yeah i definitely need to take some tylenol because that was not a fun experience and i don't recommend um hitting your head on your ikea alex nine drawers i'm gonna go in with a little bit deeper shade here i'm gonna go into dune this is like totally like not what i this is like i don't know this isn't really a color range i usually go for it back in the day oh my gosh with like naked heat naked heat was my jam back in the day that was like 2017 me she loved naked heat it was so good and i have thought about it like if it ever like went on sale or something i feel like i would buy it again and like see because like, i love i don't know why but i loved the way that orange eyeshadow looked on me I mean now that's not really something that i would wear but i think it's interesting that like 19 20 year old me was like i'm a fashionista like <laughs> we're gonna go into the shade heavenly this is a gorgeous shade and it's gonna just like pop perfectly on the lid here so there we go i have more to talk about but i got a bunch of new show recommendations so i'm going to look into um there's so many you guys gave me but i think i'm going to look into new girl first because i've watched part of it but then i don't know why i didn't finish it i feel like i should have <laughs> i feel like i watched maybe the first one or two seasons but one of you guys recommended that i've heard gilmore girls gossip girl so those are going to be shows i'm going to look into as well but we're going to use the glam light and frosted flakes lip liner so thank you to everyone who gave me recommendations we love to see it it's like a little sharp i kind of want to like wear it down a bit i got this at tj maxx this is a blue one it came with this gloss i might use this gloss today and then i'm gonna use the elf o face satin lipstick in the shade of vocal which is like a warm toned color that i want to just like have like blend in with the eyes you know and i did want to put on a little bit of the fenty gloss bomb heat this is in um fenty glow heat i might put on that sparkly lip gloss on top 
I feel like with this, which, which is really interesting, is that whenever you wear this, like, over top of, like, a lipstick or anything like that, you don't really feel, like, the heat effect of this. But when you put it on by itself, it's good to keep in mind. I'm not really a big plumping lipstick kind of girl, so I don't mind that in the slightest. But then I have this Frosted Flakes lip gloss. I really wish Glamite would put, like, names of their products instead of just being, like, a Frosted Flakes lip gloss. I don't know. Um, but this has like, I'm gonna kind of try to show you, it has like this beautiful like silvery sparkle to it, almost like a, no, it's more like a white gold kind of look, but I want to put on a little bit of sparkle. It's gorgeous. Okay. If you guys are doing anything fun this summer, let me know because we are kind of not, I don't know, we're just like, we're not really going anywhere this summer, don't have any plans to... It's not that I mind, but I mean, it's always nice to have like time at home and I just wish this weather was year round. That's the only thing. Like the weather is beautiful today. It's like 70 degrees out. It's a little cooler than it like has been recently, but it's beautiful. Okay. I'm starting to feel a little bit of a, a heat aspect of this and I don't know if I like it. I'm like getting a tingle, like a hot tingle and I'm like, Mm, I don't know. I'm not really a plumping lip gloss girl. Just like don't get the hype of like super plumped up lips. Is it just me? I don't know. We're just doing like a little bit of eyeliner. This is the Too Faced Better Than Sex Liquid Liner. This is pretty darn good in my opinion. Oh my gosh. <laughs> my lips are like, oh. It's not like on the verge of numbing, but giving like numb tingling and I don't like it. But anyways, we're going to use the e.l.f. Lash Beats Defining and Lengthening Mascara. So if you guys have picked up anything from the semi-annual sale, kind of like going back to what we were originally talking about. If you have any ideas, like how do you organize your products, let me know. I I'm just overall curious because I have my body creams like sitting on my, my desk right now and I don't like it. And I was thinking like, oh, I'll get shelves, right? And then I'm like, oh, I don't know if I want shelves. But it's like, I don't want to just like throw them in a, a drawer. I want to put them on display because I don't know. I like doing that kind of stuff. I keep getting lipstick on my teeth. Okay, and then we're going to layer with a little bit of Tarte Lights Camera Lashes Mascara. I don't know. I just, I want to showcase everything. Um, so another thing I might be doing like in a video this summer like later this summer i want to go through my makeup and take everything out of the drawers i know <laughs> and i want to reorganize maybe rediscover items that i have been kind of pushing to the back or anything really so i mean i i would like to do that um, that might be something I do over like my break because I'm our, that kind of person where I'm like, oh, better make a list, you know, of things I'm going to do. And that was one of them. So this is the finished look though. And it's really pretty. I feel really pretty. You know that I love that feeling when you like finish your makeup and you're like, wow, I feel like a million bucks. So, oh my God, I love it. It's gorgeous. It was kind of like a chill get ready with me. I hope you guys enjoyed. <laughs> One who's very adventurous in the slightest, but there we go. My lips are still feeling weird. I don't know. <laughs> so sorry if I'm like kind of talking weird, but I don't know if I like this. Um, this might have to go to one of my friends who uh, likes a more tingly gloss because ugh, I don't know if I do, but anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know on your thoughts and everything I said in the comments down below. Um, if you like these, get ready with me is uh, give them a thumbs up. It helps my channel out so much when you do, and I'm going to go ahead and see you in my next one. Bye.